Welcome back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. I have a very funny and very ironic story to share with you all today. I'm sure you saw a little bit of this on Twitter, but it is just too good not to have it be an entire episode. So Gavin Newsom, the infamous left-wing California governor who has ruined California and caused a mass exodus out of his state is now terrified that his young son may become based because he is listening to Joe Rogan, Andrew Tate, and Jordan Peterson. And oh my God, I love the fear that he is feeling. Before we get into this story though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. So we learned about this Newsom family drama and turmoil from a recent interview with the governor. And the original tweet that I saw read, Gavin Newsom's son is getting radicalized by quote unquote micro cult leaders, also known as Joe Rogan. Rogan and Jordan Peterson. Quote, I really worry about these micro cults that my kids are in. I say micro cults because I don't know if there's a better way to describe it. My son is asking me about Andrew Tate, Jordan Peterson, and then immediately he's talking about Joe Rogan and I'm like, here it is, the pathway. I fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. <laughs> oh God, the gateway drug. Jordan Peterson and Joe Rogan, the gateway drug to conservatism. Oh my God! The fact that he's calling them micro cults is just so good. Somebody commented and said, apparently independent thinking and not repeating mainstream media talking points verbatim is the behavior of a cult member now. Kind of sounds like the opposite, but I don't think Gavin Newsom is smart enough to realize that. Somebody else commented and said, I love that a micro cult is the most popular podcast on earth. Somebody else said, the pathway to what? Masculinity? I can see why that's a problem for Gavin. <laughs> I mean, if Gavin Newsom thinks that Joe Rogan and Jordan Peterson are scary, just wait until his son discovers the micro cult leader of Michael Knowles and suddenly becomes Catholic and pro-life. Speaking of pro-life activism, according to a recent report, Planned Parenthood continues to rake in billions despite dwindling clients. The biggest takeaway here is that Planned Parenthood is generating vast profits, including millions in taxpayer funding. But with the work of Preborn, we can help stop that. Preborn operates on a very slim budget as they rescue over 200 babies' lives every day, and they receive no government funding. Preborn's network of clinics are situated in the darkest corners, competing head-to-head -head with the abortion giants, and they need our help more than ever. When you donate $28 to Preborn, you will offer a free ultrasound to an expectant mother caught in crisis. When a mother hears that heartbeat and sees the ultrasound, her baby's chance at life doubles. If you want to help Preborn, please consider giving a tax-deductible gift that will go directly towards saving babies' lives, and that is something that you will never regret. If you want to get involved, go to preborn.com slash Brett today. Again, that's preborn.com slash Brett. Gavin Newsom probably thinks that that ad read is absolutely terrifying. He probably also thinks that pro-life activism is another micro cult, which greatly pleases me. Now, it seems like after Gavin said this, he has a little more to worry about because look at what one of these cult leaders replied with. This is Tristan Tate, Andrew Tate's brother. And he said, followed Gavin Newsom. Maybe now his son will think that he's cool which is just like the most epic troll. And I could not stop laughing when I scrolled down and I saw this comment because it made me think more about what must be going on in the Newsom family right now. You just have to imagine that you are the son of a governor, especially in modern day California, where you are seeing all of these things online, you live online, and as you get older, you've obviously got to question what you're seeing in the environment that you're growing up in. Like, I'm sure that he hears people around him, his friends, his friends' parents talking about the current conditions of California, which are not great. And he must see it online all the time, maybe at school. And I'm sure that that would cause him to ask questions, to seek out other opinions about what's going on. Maybe he's rebelling. Like, imagine you're just sitting home, bored, scrolling on TikTok, and you see this video about your father. Nobody wants President Newsom either. Nobody believes in that guy. That guy's a f***ing con man. Everything he did in California, from trying to mandate vaccines for kids, to being caught public without a mask, and lying about the fact that he was outdoors. He's just a politician. Just a stone-cold, narrative-driven politician. Nobody thinks he's a real human. Whether you like Trump or not, whether you think it's cor he's corrupt or not, that's a human being. You know what that guy is. Same thing with RFK Jr. Whether you believe that he's correct about vaccines or whether you believe his policies would be effective, and you know that's a human being. With Newsom, you've got like this construct, this cardboard cutout of a person. I don't think people want that, but they might want it more than they want President Trump. It is such a good point what he's saying because I think of Newsom and I think about a slick haired, slick personality cardboard cutout. His entire life is dictated by what the media is going to say, how he can skirt around his own laws for his own benefit. He's slimy, he's as slick as his hair, and it's gross. Somebody else commented and said, well, if his kid is living in California, he's probably wondering 
Dad, what the hell are you doing? If that kid is smart at all, he has got some questions. And to be honest, I commend the kid for seeking out some better male role models, you know, with Jordan Peterson and Joe Rogan, because I highly doubt he is getting that kind of inspiration at home. Anyway, Tristan Tate was not the only one who responded to this quote from Newsom because Jordan, sweet Jordan, responded shortly after with this and said, lock up your children, Gavin Newsom, force feed them CNN, NBC, Washington Post, and New York Times until they're terrified of the future, neurotic, demoralized, unsure of even their sex, and ready to vote for the Democrats. Literally my generation, neurotic, demoralized, and sure of their sex. Climate change everywhere, oh my God. I just love him. I mean, seriously, like I said a couple of minutes ago, I'm just picturing everything that's going on in the Newsom family. Imagine Newsom and his son arguing about Tristan Tate and Jordan Peterson's tweets over dinner that night, because obviously he's already admitted that his son listens to these men. So I'm sure he's seen these responses. I'm sure his son knows that he made that quote to the press. I need to be a fly on the wall and know what the arguments are like. <laughs> And obviously all of these dunks on Twitter are hilarious, but what makes this story just really zing in my opinion is the pure irony of Gavin Newsom being mad and complaining about not having full control over what his son is consuming and learning. Isn't that ironic? Newsom. Oh, are you experiencing this for the first time? Do you not like that? Wall Street Silver tweeted and said, it sounds like Gavin Newsom's son is based. It's okay when they do it to your children. But now for some reason, Gavin Newsom has an issue with the concept that his son might be influenced by the ideas of somebody else that he, quote, the parent, disagrees with. Weird how it only is permissible in one direction for Gavin. But are we surprised about that? Because like Joe Rogan said, this man is incredibly hypocritical. He's only out for himself. His entire goal in life is to paint this narrative about him as a politician. He's not a real person. He has a one-track mind. He cannot see the complexity or the hypocritical nature of this situation. Congratulations, you played yourself. Okay, Gavin, very interesting that you want to impart your values on your children. What a crazy, insane notion. I thought that that was not allowed. I thought that parents' rights weren't important and were not respected. Although in this circumstance, I would assume that it is less about him worrying for his son's you know, future health and innocence and more about Newsom protecting his reputation and not wanting to have a son that goes against him. Because of course, it's all about his image. Fragile masculinity, Maybe he should listen to Jordan Peterson himself. Thank you for watching the comment section. If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, like this video, and of course, if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Brett Cooper. See you next time.